Well, thanks very much for all of that. Welcome along to this final. I'm Michael McMullen and Carl and Jeremy will be sitting alongside me in just a moment. And in seven weeks' time, we'll all be getting ready to go to Alexandra Palace for the 30th anniversary Moscone Cup. But this final is the last of thousands of matches played this year in Matchroom's individual events. And after it means so, so much to them. I mean, it is a good thing when I say that we may see tears from Jason if he wins the title tonight. That's how much it means to him. Oh, well, looks like two good lags to start, if that's any indication. Jason Shaw really almost freezes it to the rail. I think we've just broken the world record for the loudest ever cheer at the end of a lag. Wonderful stuff in Hanoi. Thank you. The first track. Jason Shaw. Jason Shaw from Scotland, now based in the United States. The Moscone Cup legend with Europe. He will start us off. Struggled with the break in the semi-final. Didn't make the one ball in the side consistently. Boy, what a start this is, JJ. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I looked at the lag in both semi-finals. It meant something in each of them, especially for Alvin. He broke around the first couple. Uh, before Ko Ping Chong even got out of the chair. And I'll tell you, if nerves are flowing, how you like this one to start? Two ball just inches from the hole, the pink near. Put your phone of course, on it's going to have to work. Please. You always got to work. But this one here can set, settle you in pretty quickly. Both of these players came straight through without having to go to the loser side. And Sean has actually had a relatively untroubled path here. Johan Chua pushed him to 10-6 in the last 32. Chua of the Philippines team won the World Cup of Pool in Spain in the summer. And against Federal Gorst in the quarterfinals, he had his closest match, was 9-5 up, got pegged back to 9-8 before clinching it in the next rack. So that's been his path to the final, but it's not been the start he was hoping for. This, an unexpected miss on the four. Very bad miss, that. I was a little surprised where he decided to leave the cue ball, JJ. I thought he was going to go near the rail. I mean... Didn't You're talking about the first shot. Yeah, the positional shot. Go to the rail and then, you know, play the cue ball out into the table. But I didn't expect Jason to miss that. That is purely down to nerves in the opening rack. Listen, both guys have played in front of big crowds. This has the feeling it's a little different. Yeah, and I was a little shocked he tried to get that much out of it. He could have went forward, taken a little longer shot, getting the cue ball near the eight. He tried to get the most out of that pink four and attacking here. Oh, I thought he was attacking. He's going to play the safety. Yeah, Albion Ocean will not be scared to lay the hook. That's where he backs himself. In that department of the game, Jason knows this. Here comes the short stick. Yeah, he can't get a lot of speed on this and happens, unless he happens to land on the pink. He's got to get the cue ball up quickly. Maybe a bank. Well, I'll tell you what, for the pink just being inches away from the cue ball, Jason can't be too unhappy with that. This is very odd. He has to creep this up to the position for the purple. I don't think he can put a ton of speed. Yeah, real nice. This is a lot of different types of breaks that I've seen throughout his career where it was very hard for him to repeat whatever he wanted to do. And for the most part, besides one real bad one that was almost very costly against Ko Ping Chung, he was real solid in that department in the semifinal. Shaw got the first chance at a bad miss on the four, and the opening rack has ended up going the way of Alban Ocean. Chance for Shaw, this is going to set up. Don't know if he can come very close to that triple combo you were talking about.
Jason Shaw, 35 years of age, ranked number six in the world. And this is awkward. Quite a bit of cut on the three to quite a bit of cut on the nine to have any chance to pocket the th green six. What other options are there? And he needs to hit it with speed. and play that really really quickly I think yeah. he did but I think I think the safety side of it's not Jason's strongest point so I think he's a bit eager and maybe don't want to kind of bear down it as crazy as that sounds maybe he just wanted to rush it because he's a little bit scared of the shot like he wants to get it over with possibly yeah and it looked like he had to play it with a hair of side to really you know grab the three enough Regardless, though, if you, even if that's not your strong suit, which I think Jason doesn't get enough credit at times in that that department, but you can't make those mistakes. Started in this final. Jason Shaw. Walked into the arena at the start of this Hanoi Open final to the song, We Found Love. But if it keeps going like this, he'll be in a hopeless place. Albert Ocean leads 3-0. So firing on all cylinders at the moment. Seen it firsthand when I was vice captain of the Moscone Cup in the practice room. Albin Olsen was the player who was always excelling at the soft rolls and the, you know, the drills that Alex Laley brought to the practice room. He was the man who was always on top. Well, these two have been partners in the Moscone Cup. They've played five doubles matches together, won all of the first three. They've lost two in a row since then, but they were both hill-hill. Oh, look at this. Could this be the moment it starts to turn around for him? He really looked like he needed something like this to happen. Yeah, position on the pink, I believe. We're going to look in a moment. I think when Albin played the safety shot, he just bumped the six into a potable position, JJ. I think so. I think you have to be in a nice spot to be able to make it, or at least, let's say, make it uh, without much worry. Thing is, you can make it from a few different places, but to get position on the seven easily as well. Uh, this one's going to be a little more ticklish. I don't know if he can draw off of this ball. May have to go forward. He's down quick. Well, that answers that question. Shaw actually uses the opposite hand when he's using the bridge. Plays lefty, uses the bridge with his right hand. Yeah, he's a right eye dominant player, and oh my. Another quick one, JJ. I'd like to take another look at this one. Seemed to be right down on the shot and just pulled the trigger. Yeah, no pre-strokes, no kind of tuning in on it. He's all at sea here. His head isn't right. He's not settled into this match at all yet. Thank you. Yeah, I was just going to comment. He plays golf right hand. He does a few things. Or no, even knows. Let one get away there. Be lucky to get back to the table, I tell you. Well, first clips in the seven. He's looking a little anxious, but really, it's 
likely he's not going to get a good position on the eight. He's absolutely fine here, and Jason Shaw brought the house down with that three. But he really, after that, had to make it lead somewhere. I'm just so used to seeing Jason pop balls for fun. You know, he's played well all week. Got off to a slow start against Sanjin. Sanjin just didn't show up in the semi-finals, but I can't believe what I've seen here so far from Jason. And Mr. Efficiency, Alvin Ocean, has mopped up the rest, and he leads 4-0. This might help. This might help. I was just going to say we commented on Shaw about his year and really run a little over a year where, you know, when things weren't going his way, he really got frustrated at times. And this looks awfully thin on the purple to get at the nine properly. This really is turning into a nightmare start for Jason Shaw. Came in here, getting the crowd on his side, encouraging them. So full of determination and enthusiasm. And really, since that miss on the four in the opening rack, it just hasn't got any better. Well, I think he knew he wasn't in the prime position. Maybe kind of rushed that one as well. But when you get it that close, you feel like it was makeable, though. And I'll tell you, couldn't have got much better roll considering he did leave a shot. Cue ball on the rail, five looks to be froze on the opposite cushion. Not easy. Yeah, very easy to send the five into the rail too soon and just miss the nine ball. Started the fifth rack. Oh! By scratching. And finished it in exactly the same way. Well, Jason Shaw has been desperate to get a rack. He hasn't been able to do it for himself. And he's finally got the chance to do it here. Handed to him in such unexpected fashion. Yeah, and he was so focused on the combo, just lost the route of the cue ball. This needs to travel, JJ. Yeah, he's got out there. He can screw it over onto the side rail. Play the nine in the same pocket. Well, he's decided to come back over. Maybe he's trying to get that back arm going a little bit. Well, I was going to say he should take advantage of these four. Barely getting the nine down. It had to be that way, didn't it? After everything we've seen, you knew when he finally potted a nine ball to win a rack, it was probably going to struggle for survival on its way in. Here, though, so probably a safety. Really, really good. Very difficult escape here for Alvin Ocean. He'll, he'll consume all the shot clock and maybe the extension try to get at this one, trying to get at this one, excuse me. Well, this is going to take some hitting. So I go one, two, three rails into the ball, pot it in the corner past the pink. Is that the plan? Keeps giving us something to think about, doesn't he? Putting himself through the ringer over and over again. And he must now be at a stage of thinking, just get this eight and nine down. And let's see where we can take it from there. 
So had a bit of good fortune at the end of the previous rack. He's controlled this one from start to finish, and Jason Shaw has won two in a row now. Looking a bit different, but he's got to start playing with a bit more confidence than this. Ocean's lead is 4-2. Just gonna say the long ball. Tell you what, that always can get you going. Just give you the belief. You can start to make them all. And I liked what he did there. Also, he didn't back down with the movement of the cue ball at all. Really, he could have laid up on the side rail, trying to play the three in the corner, then then having a maneuver for the four on the side. Now in a great position. He could really get a, this crowd on his side, I think. I think both players could, but even more so Jason Shaw. Could play a big part in this final. All of a sudden, he's got a very different feel to us. Ocean looked like he was going to lead 5-0. In fact, it looked as though he did lead 5-0 when he made that combination. Sometimes we're maybe a bit too over-eager to identify turning points, but you don't really need to be giving it too much thought to spot where it's come in this final. Thought he'd get a lot more out of that, Carl. A little awkward off the side rail. Yeah, he's potted a couple of balls. And they've not gone in clean, so this is a test to hit. Well, that was a very nice rack. And that was a nine, just to test the confidence a bit. Looks a bit less fragile now, and he's got his first break and run of the final. For a moment. Oh, dry break so far. The one in the corner, but the cue ball as well. May get fortunate though that the two is not playable offensively. So even though it won't be a, s a very fun situation, he comes back to the table for at least it's an opportunity to do something. That's what you said in uh, about a semifinal. A little here and there with the break shot. Albin will be desperate to get the cue ball touching the three. That cuts out so many escapes. I think he cut off that side rail. There's a two rail escape kind of wrap in the corner. That lower right corner on your screen, you'd rather take the same path the blue two took. That gives you options to get maybe behind the eight, maybe behind the purple five. I don't think you can put a ton of speed on this, though. kicks at this if he hit oh he's going to go to the third rail huh is that asking a little much or is he trying to get behind it maybe send the two over behind the eight the five and the seven five three ocean That's been an awful kiss a couple of times for Alvin, really. That one there was struck better. A kiss that was very ugly. Let's not forget the granddaddy of them all, Michael, the U.S. Open. I thought the crowds were spectacular there as well. Yeah. Big opportunity to this to get himself right back in this match. Things. Looking very bleak when he missed that carom to try and put the nine. Looking like going five racks to zero down. So fast forward 15 minutes, he's just three balls away to being five four down, back in this final. Yeah, and even when he started winning racks, the balls were just wriggling in. He didn't look sure of himself at all. And 
You sense he's putting the start of this match behind him now. So he's still behind. But he's as close as you could conceivably be at this stage of the final. Jason Shaw has won four racks to Albert Ocean's five. Only one in it. Don't think the seven goes by by the eight in the lower right. When you've had a significant lead and your opponent starts coming back at you a bit, there's always that psychological thing about Staying in front, don't ever let him get level. Because that can be a big tipping point in a match. Well, that's surprising. It may have to go a little bit. Tell you what he did do there, though. He waited for the referee to say five. You know, the referee says ten. And then he was down. He knew five was coming. So he let that one go. That's what you've got to do as well. That often goes unnoticed. Go and manage the shot clock. Don't think he played for the middle, did he, JJ? I think he was trying to play for the the bottom left corner, where Jason Shaw's name is, as we look at the screen. Big oh, moment just... here in this final. And it may be the moment where Jason Shaw finally gets level. He's been behind throughout this entire final so far. Well, it was a nine ball. He fell behind it a little bit, similar to that against Ko Ping Chung. He ended up winning the game after Chung missed a return nine ball. This is a little funny. He's coming across two rails. Shaw sure did the same, though. See how he waited for the five? Did exactly the same. He was down on ten. He was queuing for quite a long time. As soon as the referee said five, he was ready to pull the trigger. And another confident nine ball dispatched. Jason Shaw from 4-0 down is already level as early as the 10th rack. It's five all. You have an angle that's going away, but it's not a real big angle, so it doesn't make it so easy to work the cue ball. Fantastic effort there. That's not too bad. It is a little thinner than this crowd think, I bet. You can see the three pop up in the air there. Yeah, just because the cue ball popped a little bit, hit down on it. He can dig on this and go around the five. He can hit a natural high ball going three rails. Six play, or is it a kiss shot on the nine? Ocean wasn't able to stop Shaw getting level. Certainly wants to stop him getting in front. All the momentum with the Scott at the moment. He's won five of the last six racks here. But he hasn't won this one because Ocean has made the 6-9 carom to get his nose back in front at 6-5. Oh, he let it go a little bit, maybe. Many a player would have gone for that five ball, JJ. Yeah. It did look like Okay, he did snooker him. I was going to say, it did look like a safety that was hard to miss, though. I get that, but you know what it's like. People like to play attacking. Uh, Cuba needs to stay dry. Well, it stayed dry, but he's left Albin a shot at this five ball. That's what I mean. He's just very good at making them decisions. 
Yeah, absolutely. Queuing over the pocket. Always a little funny. Just because of where the pink's four is at, how close can he get to it? This may be a little tight going by the purple as well. Yeah, even shave the purple going by. Pool balls will do some amazing things, Phil. How's that ball shave the five at that speed from that angle and still go in the corner? And it was quite a hefty flick as well, Carl, wasn't it? It didn't just graze off the five. No, that's right. Now, is this right between the six and eight? I don't see him queuing down much. Speed looks wonderful as well. Really does. I think in nine ball, you always try and let the cue ball do the work. Yeah, we just rotate the cue ball. That's why I always talk about the snooker technique. I think it's really apples and oranges, really, uh, where they're... They're trying to eliminate the spin a lot of times, or we're trying to use it really from shot to shot. From apples and oranges to low hanging fruit, that's this nine ball. In it goes. It seems to me as though Alvin Auschen is getting into some kind of groove. He's three ahead for the first time since he was 4 1 up. Yeah, well, when they both come to the table in these tactical battles, I think he's only lost one rack in that regard. So. Oh, what a roll at the right time. I'd have to look across the table here at the kick. Maybe cut off, I don't know, with the six there. May not be able to kick one rail across. Yeah, he's won five racks, but how many racks has he won convincing? Well, considering he escaped from a fluke snooker, I don't think we can begrudge him that. May leave the gap. Yeah, I'm looking right down the barrel. Carl, you called that one right. Looks like he can get a little to his right side of the three as well. Play the three up underneath the nine. Trying to coast the cue ball over by the purple five. Always been renowned for his containment abilities. Tactically, he's very astute. Yeah, I really put him. I think him, FSR, and Al Katy, really three of the top tactical players out there. Plays his way into these events. That's why he's won so many of them. 7 2 down to SVB. Come yeah. back and got the win. There was a special guest that showed up this week, uh, Efren Reyes. It was a lot like that as well, and it seems like there's been a lot of greats through the years. Earl Strickland hardly, hardly ever lost in the final. Mike Siegel, of course, known for it. May not have their best, but when it means the most, they seem to bring it. Well now, four is the relevant number. Four racks in front at 9-5, Albin Auschen. Should be a two-rail escape here. 
big, big favorite to hit this. I like the speed he attacked with. I think that was pretty just returning the snooker. Now, Jason Shaw is renowned as one of the game's great offensive players. He's got to stop weaving his magic, or it will be too late. A little unlucky unless the purple five passes the eight. He's fallen pretty straight on the pink, which, of course, is an easy shot to make. But how do you draw a position? But, you know, in the very first lag, he missed a ball not dissimilar to this. The four up the lung rail. And I think that set an early pattern. He looked jittery early on, and I think we've seen that a lot from Jason Shaw in matches this season. Yeah, this will go off the rail. We had a perfect view there. So all was not lost. Someone shouts, come on, Jason. The Scots prospects brightening to a degree. 10-6. Yeah. But he knows he's got to cut the four just a touch. With top English, the four really shouldn't move much, though. Even though he's got to cut, cut it just a, just a little bit. Should be able to move to the rail and back above. Oh, he put a lot of speed into that. Kind of stunned it a little bit. Now a safety coming. Yeah, he will not be shooting this ball. Up the rail. Got Alvin in a world of trouble. The secondary kiss on the, the pink four ball helped him enormously there. like a one rail kick could go two rails right before that left middle side pocket but kind of like the one rail kick I think a lot of good things can happen pays to hit he's made to hit what is he left He's left sure a chance. There's a few come on Jays get shouted out from this wonderful crowd here in Hanoi. Yeah, not got the bulk of the racks, sure, but he's got the bulk of the support. Jason Shaw is not missing this. Watch out for. Oh, what an awful position this is with the blue two hanging over the corner. And he is absolutely welded to the back of the pink. And the red threes in a way. You can't even like, 
you know, shoot the four at the two on a push out, something, something that you don't see very often. And I think we may all learn something here. Can he roll the four up onto the red three while calling some type of push out situation here? And he would take on a kick at the blue two if he had one. He just doesn't have one. Push out, coach. Can't get to the right side of the of the six to maybe go behind the eight. Still, though, Al Alvin's going to take on any jump shot from here. It's just not totally, you know, ridiculous. Wow, what was that? Now what's he doing? See something I don't see? I didn't understand that one. Did you, Carl? I mean, I, mean, I know it's going to be something crazy, but. Maybe this is Jason's favorite shot. Oh. I'll tell you what, it wasn't far away. That would have brought the roof off. Zorro's in the building. Wow. The structural integrity of this venue might have been in danger had that made contact with the two. What an attempt. Like one of those trick shots you see from those wonderful Karen players. How big of a shot is this coming up now on this eight ball? Well, arguably, the biggest shot of the match so far. And Shaw knows it. Was it just a shot too much? This is the moment. Jason Shaw has been waiting for he's been waiting for a little weakness I don't know about the speed on this this could get a little awkward Anyone who rides off Jason Shaw in any match, anywhere, does so at their peril. From the six to the seven, not only five to the six, but six to the seven, unless you get perfect, very difficult. I don't blame him for playing that, JJ. I think it all depends on the person, how good you are at playing the combinations. Playing this into the side, running two, three rails. Well, he's drawed it. I thought he was going forward with a cue ball. I'll tell you what, that was a nice shot. We have a final on again for the second time. Break and run outs are Jason Shaw's calling card. And you can see Jason talking with himself, probably something like, uh, I play the safety, I can't come away with a shot. Boy, what a big one here. No extension left for Albin. Ocean started to miss a few balls now. This is why you've got to be patient. The occasion is big. Both players have never experienced this type of arena, this type of crowd playing in one of these open events. We've had big crowds, a fantastic crowd at the European Open. 
Also the Spanish Open, but it just feels different here. It's felt different all week. Yeah, in terms of numbers, in terms of enthusiasm, in terms of long-term significance, this is in a league of its own. Uh, pretty heavy here. Don't know if he can get all the way down on the five, and if not, he's going to have to really work the cue ball. Oh, this is going to be trouble. This could be real trouble. And I thought he might just go with a high ball and then have to shoot the five and go up and down and really have to work a lot, but maybe trying to get them a lot out of that shot there. Alvin Ocean with a little help from his friend, an intentional help, has re-established a two-rack buffer zone. Squeezing out those extra games, which leads to matches and then again wins and big events. Got to get some spin on this. Oh, he went for the cut. It's hard stopping pool. <laughs> We've seen higher quality, let's be frank. But in terms of incident, this final is right up there. Here's another one of those two rails behind it. Watch out for the brown seven kind of stopping the movement of the blue two. Just so good at this, JJ. He's just so good at it. Yeah, and that's all you can do there is hold the rock, take your chances, make your opponent earn it from distance. Yeah, and this type of shot in this environment, this pocket looks a lot smaller. Oh, that was well hit. Time that one. He's hanging on in, JJ, isn't he? He really is. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the key to when you're behind is keep fighting. You never know what may give. This is wonderful theatre. Tired since. Can you rectify that here and now? There goes the one ball. The four ball needs to get out of the way. Oh, where's the two ball finish, JJ? Is it touching the point or is it right over that middle pocket? Well, we'll get a look here at the overhead, but he's got to keep his, I think it's a playable shot here. I don't know, it may have settled on that point. He may be able to go for a kick here with some speed, trying to catch the second rail, chip the two on the side and go up for the three. Really wears his heart on his sleeve, doesn't he? You know exactly what he's thinking at any given point, whether he's losing or he's winning. Or even if he wants to punch you, JJ, he will let you know through his facial expressions. Well, I think it does go. He's a favorite here. This could bring the roof down. Two rail kick. It's there, he's on the three ball. It's easy sat where we are sat. There goes the cue, he's celebrating like he's won. This is to tie the match up. Well, Jason wants it like this. He wants the crowd involved. It's a scary shot to me. Does he have a free one here to play in the corner coming behind the four and eight with the cue ball? 
does play. I think he's got to go here. He's definitely got to go. Right in the middle of the pocket. This is where the adrenaline goes, and he for totally forgets about the mistakes throughout the match. Watch out, cue ball. It's okay. Well, Jason's heart must be pumping now, not because the cue ball is not on a string, because the crowd are involved in every shot. Yeah, no angle here. So, what he does best. The shot of the match for me, that in terms of technique, queuing over the middle pocket, that was brilliant under that immense pressure. Brilliant. Yeah, this has got a little funny. Even though it became natural now, he can level out, go to the top rail. He was queuing right over the middle of that pocket. He had to screw back with power. He did it, and now look at this. Didn't play for that pocket. No, he's a little jacked at the moment. Was the nine ball? Does the two cut? No, he's, he's got a look at the blue two. I believe the way he knocks the ball in, he could cut at this, but wow. What a difficult shot. It does play into the corner. Cue ball would go into the seven, I believe. Don't think he's gonna look. I think he's looking at the edge. I really think he's looking at the edge of this blue two here when he backed off the ball. Is he playing he it thin or is he playing it off the six? What's he looking at here, JJ? No, he's looking to fan it in, Carl. Thin it in? Absolutely. And I don't mind it as long as he doesn't rush it too much. Well, he's called eagle eye. Definitely cuts. Your shot's playable as well. It needs a tie English, though. Your shot does. The two off the six. If you play it with draw, you're really gambling. What about the safety shot, JJ? Let's just slow things down a little bit. Well, I mean, he's trying to do it his way. Well, we didn't see the bank, did we? He's ripped the bank. Given the temperature in here, we've seen plenty of perspiration. Now we're seeing inspiration. Yeah. And Alvin Ocean's got to, even though he hates it, he's got to appreciate what he's seeing as well. Oh, silky smooth there. That was a little tougher than he made it look. And now really one nice positional shot away, maybe two. I'm absolutely stealing this title from the Austrian champion. Well, he was worried about the seven, and he really killed the cue ball. Yeah, just bear down. Make sure you pop the five ball here. Oh, no. Jason Short has missed the five ball. From nowhere. And now the Albert Ocean cheering section find their voice. Yeah. But Phil, if you're on the fence, Hill Hill is what you want. Ball. 
he's feeling it, JJ. He didn't want to come back for the nine. He just played it at pocket speed. Yeah, well, Alvin commented how much he was feeling it in the semifinal. We'll see here in the case game. Seen that kiss by the side pocket all tournament, but what a time for it to happen, Carl. Is it destiny for sure to snap off his first open event on the world nine ball tour? He's had a chance, it was a good chance. He's got chance number two, he's going to be feeling it. Nothing's easy now, doesn't matter where the balls are unless it's a dead set combo. Anything is possible. Yeah, I was going to say, I stay away from that side pocket. I don't use the side rail either here. I either draw out for the angle for the three in the corner or the three in the side. I think it was the side rail that confused him in the last rack. Don't, no reason to get in too much of a hurry. Yeah, he's okay there, JJ. He's actually fine. Just pull this back. Just wants to slow down a little bit. Just make sure this is not a race. Well, it's a race to 13. Yeah, it's, it's really going to be the eight ball, it looks like, Carl. That's going to be the only maybe question mark. Yeah, and where the eight ball is, JJ, you just want to be off that rail, don't you? The worst case scenario would be tight on the rail. Even yeah. where the cue ball is now would be ideal. He's a little distance away off angle on the six, so he's got to pay attention. He's going to rely on what he does best, knocking in the long ones. Three Keep. pots away from glory. This looks good, JJ. This looks perfect, in fact. Absolutely perfect. He can just pull the cue ball back with a little low right English. This is it, folks. It's this nine ball. If you don't like noise, cover your ears. <laughs> Magnificent. Marvelous. Magical. Jason Shaw jumps onto the table in triumph. He is victorious in Vietnam, and listen to this reaction. We knew coming here, the crowd would be a, a major plus in this tournament. We never in our wildest dreams anticipated what would happen.